hello guys so as promised in this video I am going to show you how to set up Udo 13 in Visual Studio Code uh, I have already set up Udo 13 in my previous video I am going to put the link in the description so if you wanted to catch up to this point you can watch that video and when I start setting setting up Eclipse you can come to this point and start with uh, watching this video so I am using the 64 bit version of Ubuntu 18 so I don't think so there's any 34 bit version by now but if you have installed 32 bit version you can I'm sure find the 32 bit version of Visual Studio Code but we will be setting up the 64 bit version so let's download this version and uh, it's going to make us wait for a few seconds yes. mm, so let's download this this is going to take some time I am going to skip to the end so when the download is finished I am going to resume the video so the download is complete now let's install this bad boy I am going to open my terminal the download folder So the installation is complete. Let's check if it's, in, if it's installed. Sorry. Okay, so there it is. Okay, so we are presented with this welcome screen. Let's close it and uh, let's install the extensions. Like in Eclipse, we installed by diff. Here we are also going to install the extension of Python and uh, it is on the very first screen uh, this is the one we want to install so click install it is going to take a few seconds if you want you can read this documentation okay so the installation is complete so I've installed the extension for Python now let's install the extension for Udo the Udo extension is really going to help us when we are coding especially when we are creating the views uh, with a single keystroke we can create the entire view so I will install a few of them and then we will later explore them when uh, we are coding, uh, when we are trying to develop a module. You can always install all of them and then see what they do. They all have their documentation with them as well. So they are done. Okay, so the installation is done. Let's move forward. Let's close the extension tab and open the Udo folder here so I think it was in my home folder there it is ok so open this and there it is So let's open the terminal here and from here we can run Udo. This is the log and uh, let's see if it's working. No. 
so it's working which we already knew it is going to work so that was pretty simple I am going to actually show you the power of Visual Studio Code when we start developing uh, when we start developing the module but for now I think that will be enough so see you in the next video